Welcome to another video of Gaming with Danny, where today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome compact boomerang, or the giant compact boomerang. Basically, it is the layout of the Deja Vu Vekoma roller coasters, but here you see it as a floorless coaster. With the way the large vertical loop actually goes over two tiles, you're able to have the station run right through it. So really easy to design, so if you can't figure it out on your own, I will show you now how to make your own giant boomerang. All right, so let's get started. So basically, really simple. All we need to do is find our floorless coaster here. We'll build a custom design. And you're gonna wanna have one extra uh, track piece after the station, or if you wanna make it fun, make some more money, you can do the photo, uh, the on-ride photo. So we're gonna do our large loop, let's go right. And then we will do our corkscrew. I'll bring us back the other way. So you wanna do a really tight cobra roll. So then we're gonna go large loop left because we went right first. Now we're gonna go, oops, wrong, sorry, right both times. So that will get it as close together as possible. Go down. Then we'll go left over the station like so. And then I like to do the large slope here, but if you wanna make it even more compact, you could obviously go for the a tighter a tighter slope, but I like the big one. I'm gonna go all the way up to, I think, what, uh, 125. And then should just backtrack out for the station, go backwards here at this point. And then we need to make sure, so here's where you have your cheats. Obviously for these cheats, you wanna make sure you have a allow chain lifts on all track pieces, so that needs to be turned on. And then you also need to have show all operating modes turned on. And that should be it, I think, for the cheats for this one. So we're gonna turn that chain lift on for the large slope. So this is going backwards out of your station. And then we're gonna do the vertical and make sure the chain lift stays on all the way up to 125. And then your entrance and exit can actually fit in a couple different spots. Uh, you are a little limited, but uh, they will fit. You put your exit wherever you want. And then you need to make sure you change the uh, operating mode to reverse incline launch shuttle mode. I like to bump it up to eight miles per hour. And then, whoops, I had some other cheats on. So <laughs> make sure you have one train there and you can do eight cars per train. You could actually probably get 10 if you really want, maybe not so realistic, um, but that's all there is to it for this ride. It should operate and uh, there you go. And if you don't like the speed through the Cobra roll, you want it a little bit faster, you can obviously add uh, a little bit more height to this. And if you want it to look more realistic, like you know, Vacoma Boomerang, you could always use some cheats um, and change the ride vehicle type to the corkscrew coaster. But um, I think the floorless kind of works for this because it's an extra large version. Although the 10 cars per train I have on this one is a little, a little long, but I like the extra capacity. A little slow through the Cobra roll, but I kind of like it. A little hang time there. And that's all there is to this ride. Really simple. Now, alternatively, if you want to make your real Deja Vu recreation, you can use the inverted roller coaster. However, for the ride to complete the circuit, you have to make it ridiculously tall here. And I think it just looks stupid, but that's the only way to make it get through the full course because you don't have vertical track pieces for the inverted roller coaster, but it just looks a little bit silly. So I like to stick with the twister roller coaster, but you guys can play around with it. I think these are great designs for your parks, really compact and just a nice ride. Let's see what the stats are for the inverted. Let's speed it up here. Give me some stats. Yeah, so not as good as the twister roller coaster there. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, because I got lots more ideas coming, uh, some great rides I'm gonna show you in the future. All right, thanks for watching.